2021 is in the books and in 2021 I set out to improve myself to be a better rounded inshore angler I wanted to break out of my comfort zone of my kayak and really truly chase the bite chase the fish well first on the list was winter trout I wanted to catch some nice big gator speckle trout and really target them figure out their bite pattern but well the freeze happened wanted to give trout a break the species a break not really too sure what was going on as first reports came out we didn't really know the number or how bad trout have the speckled trout had been devastated in our area I chose to skip trout and head to the next maybe a trout his teeth don't look like a trout though oh yeah there it is big old canine nice big speck there it's another another speckler over here nice big big one these are healthy healthy specks look at that speckled trout Whew. that is a big one you can see that's a nine and a half boot so that's a big old trout that's sad to see and next up was sheephead yes the toothy little convict the end of february into april hundreds and tens of thousands sheephead head out the channels of the passes to go offshore offshore reefs oil platforms to do their little spawning well i wanted to hit up the jetties in galveston along with a great friend of mine captain cody dunn and we spend countless hours endless casting fishing with live shrimp using different rigs and setups and different techniques that i never used before and we had a blast didn't matter if it was calm waters or rough we went out there and set our eyes on catching a lot of sheep hit. Going into May and September, warmer part of the year, my favorite time of the year, flip-flops and shorts and t-shirt weather, well, I wanted to hit the surf. I truly never targeted surf trout, and I wanted to spend my summer days, my end of spring days, targeting them, figuring out what makes the surf flat, what makes the water clarity clean. Although I really truly never figured it out, but I did gain a better understanding on how to predict and how to forecast better conditions for catching speckled trout in the surf. Really honing in on my technique using a Castmaster spoon and a few other lures. I went out there and we had a blast fishing off the rocks, doing some wade fishing in the surf. Taking some shrimp out underneath the cork, even letting my son get involved in some of the fun activity. Seeing a lot of anglers start landing Spanish mackerel in the area. I wanted to take my hand in that and learn the Spanish mackerel bite as well when they did come close enough for me to catch. And we had a blast. We tore up the speckled trout and the Spanish mackerel out there in the surf.
going into the fall, into the winter, well, my favorite time of the year, flounder season. Although in 2020 was the first year that I really set up shop and targeted flounder during the flounder run, where I specifically devoted a ton of time to fish for the flounder. With the flounder fishery being closed this year, I really wanted to work on my technique and my hook set on targeting flounder, where they're migrating, what passes are coming through, and the area compared from previous year to this year, and even build on that knowledge. And I was not disappointed at all. We had a blast out there. We caught hundreds and hundreds of flounder, and it was just a great time, all catch and release. Well, that sums up 2021, and of course, there was tons of days in between targeting the fish. One of the things I really enjoyed doing the most in 2021 was giving back to the fishing community. I spent a lot of hours volunteering at Sea Star Base Galveston. Whether I was helping teach the homeschool and virtual kids how to fish, are teaching and helping people with disabilities how to fish. I loved every single moment of it. Thank you very much, Captain Cody Dunn and the team at Sea Star Base for letting me be involved and letting me be able to come out and enjoy and take part in some of the teaching clinics out there at Sea Star Base Galveston. And I just want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for your love and your support and taking a trip with me around the sun i had a blast i was not disappointed 2021 was a great fantastic year i can't wait to see what 2022 brings and hopefully i'll be able to bring each and every one of you with me thanks again and hopefully next time you catch me hook it up <music>